this is Season 5 of The Score, the Team Roping Journal's podcast where we cover the roping industry from top to bottom. This is where the team roping world talks. We talk through tough subjects, we talk big wins, and we talk real issues affecting the community. I'm your host and editor of the Team Roping Journal, Chelsea Schaefer. Are you ready to instill the spirit of excellence? Four-time world champion and smarty founder, Alan Bach, knows that in order to be a pro, you have to train like a pro. Keeping the roper's needs in mind, Smarty offers an extensive line of training products for ropers of all levels and disciplines. If you need it, we have it, including a complete saddle and apparel line to keep you and your horse in style going down the road. For more information on products, training camps, or our Smarty Young Pro incentives, you can follow us on our social media pages or you can check out SmartyRoping.com. If it's not a Smarty, it's just a dummy. Hey everyone, it's Chelsea Schaefer. Welcome back to The Score. We are home. We are back from Las Vegas. Um, and I am recording this episode from my home office. And boy, does it feel good to be back. On today's episode, I am going to go over the Cinch Timed Event Championship and everything you can expect from the Lazy E in March. We are already looking ahead to this event, and I want to tell you about who will be competing and a little bit about the payout and the prize money and about the Junior Ironman. This year at the Timed Event, Eric Rogers is going to wear back number number one because he was the 2022 Cinch Timed Event Champion. He is from Round Rock, Arizona. He's been a world champion in 2017, a many-time NFR qualifier, and you will get to see him again. He is always fun to watch in the bulldogging, and we always hope that Eric stays nice and safe. Number two is Clayton Haas, Weatherford, Oklahoma. Three, Russell Cardoza, Terrebonne, Oregon. Four, Taylor Santos, a pastime event championship from Creston, California. Five is Paul David Tierney from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Six is Haven Medjid, Miles City, Montana. Seven, Roger Nanella of Redmond, Oregon. Eight, Lane Carney of Creston, California. Nine, Cole Patterson of Pratt, Kansas. Ten, Marcus Terrio from Poplarville, Mississippi. Eleven, Shad Mayfield, Clovis, New Mexico. Twelve, Tyler Pearson and Dippin' Dots, his heel horse that we all love, from Atoka, Oklahoma. Thirteen, Cody Dosher, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. 14 is Jess Tierney, another cinch timed event champion from Altus, Oklahoma. 15, Kyle Lockett, again, another past champion from Visalia, California. 16 is Seth Hall, Albuquerque, New Mexico. 17, another past champ, Justin Thigpen at Waycross, Georgia. 18 is Casey Jones. We thought we had seen the last of Casey Jones at the Lazy E, but nope, he's coming back from Burlington, Wyoming. And then the two rookies, Colby Lovell, the 2020 world champion header who we all love to see cowboy in the brush in uh in madisonville texas but we are excited to see him at the lazy e and then 20 is colton schmidt from barhead alberta canada colton has lots of creds in the junior rodeo ranks in the all around so we are super excited to see him at the cinch timed event championship in 2023 now this year's ctec dates are march 2nd 3rd and 4th 2023 so we will see all of those 20 guys competing over five rounds five head per round in the heading the healing the calf roping the steer wrestling and the busting at the lazy e at the cinch timed event championships all right i'm gonna give you all a little preview of what these guys are competing for in 2022, Eric Rogers walked out of the Cinch Timed Event Championship with $104,000 won. So the winner gets a $100,000 check plus whatever they win in the rounds. The winningest guy on this list is Casey Jones. He's won $493,500. He is, was the champion in 1993, 1996, 1999, 2001, and 2012, and he is back trying to win it again. Casey Jones is also the oldest competitor in the field. He's 55. The youngest competitor in the Cinch Timed Event Champion field is 21, and that is Shad Mayfield. Last year was his first year at the CTEC. He was a lot of fun to watch, and we are ready to watch him again this year. Speaking of ages, we have got the Junior Ironman as well. You can look for Connor Griffith, Evan Bettini, Caleb Blake, Wyatt Williams, Jacob Holmes, 
Dylan Hancock, Mason Appleton, Ketch Kelton, Chris Deering, and Clay Clayman this year at the CTEC Junior Ironman. They will all be competing for big payouts, and you can find out more at LazyE.com. Now, as you get ready to watch the Junior Ironman and the Cinch Timed Event Championships, you can pregame by watching all of last year's event, plus all the special bonus interviews that our team did over at Roping.com. Drew Sue talked to the winners. He talked to the Hard Luck Cowboys. He talked to a little bit of everybody, as well as the celebrities that were there, the rodeo industry celebrities. And all of that, like I said, is at Roping.com. So you are familiar with the event, just in case you've never been there in person. This coverage will make you feel like you have seen the whole thing from start to finish because we covered every minute of it. We will keep you all updated on everything that there is as far as the Cinch Timed Event Championship and the Junior Ironman over at TeamRopingJournal.com and look for it streaming again this year on Roping.com. 